any employer or That's apartment right. owner, anything like that. So you, this is where your problem is. Now, this is why I asked if you had any community services that help offenders get back into community. And you're a young person. I would recommend that you try to get into a pro state-sponsored or county-sponsored program that watches you and works with you to reestablish yourself in the community. I mean, you, I, you've obviously... I appreciate that. I appreciate that, and I will look into it for my local area because my local area here has programs. It is like a hub for our county. Um, however, they also are a small town, and they just don't remember that they're a small town. And so so the programs are kind of um, very short-sighted and very close-minded. However, I'm going to check that out now that you brought it up, and I really do appreciate that, to see if there is well, the one that actually will work with me through the employment. I'm concerned about you now at this point because I have a younger sister that's got multiple felonies. She's not younger. I mean, she, she's older than you. She's like 53 54. Yeah, I bet it's even harder for her. She can't find a legitimate a job. And, and, the, the, and the topic of this of this uh, call initially was the Carson Racer rate in America. And I brought up to Rich that 50% of us in America, I just read the headline, have a relative that has been locked up at one time or another. And I'm one of the yeah. 50%. My sister and her daughter have both gone in and out of prison because of their drug addictions and their refusal to accept, you know, reality, what the things that have happened and what's going on. You know, I don't know why my sister won't uh, go into a, a program like this. She's chosen the other route that you took, prostitution. And, um, you know, as a result, I'm disgusted with her. Uh, so here Can I story. please ask, can I please just ask, I don't know you or your sister, but on the behalf of your sister and uh, at least the relatable and understanding for what I can, can I please just ask that you learn to forgive her and then forgive yourself whenever you think of her? Please don't ever be disgusted with her because sometimes whenever you're a woman, the only thing that you get told, I mean, it's hard for you to get a job over a man just as a female. And I know it says, sounds silly and feminist. Okay, I know. However, it is a true reality even still today that it is judgment. I got denied a job because I wouldn't sleep with the owner of the fucking restaurant, okay? And I apologize for the, man, for the language, but I was very upset whenever that occurred because I'm needing a job. I have children to provide for, and I need a job, and I didn't think that to wash dishes I should have to sleep with somebody. And whenever I was propositioned, so I'm a city council member. It's a city council member. And, it, and so whenever they make their judgments, I can't, I mean, I'm just a criminal. You pull my background, you see a burglar, a theft, and a drug dealer. That is all you see on paper whenever you pull my background, and that's all they care about. And unfortunately, I just wanted to say on your sister's behalf, please do not exercise disgust. You should exercise a sadness of that reality, surely. But you should exercise that forgiveness and love her anyway because she needs someone to because, unfortunately, she can't even love herself enough to just, not, you know, and so don't forget that. Killing my 80 year old, she's finishing my mother off, and her behavior is killing my 80 year old mother. Um, I bet, she, I bet both of the, I bet, I bet all of it is killing your 80 year old mother. Plus, she's 80. Yeah, and so that I'm kind of happy. stress, knowing that your children are not stable and situated in anyone's later years is a terrible, terrible thing, which is why so many people who are in nursing homes and everything need so many people to come and talk and converse with them because that's all we do as a parent is worry, all right, especially about the state of our children. Now, what bothers me as a parent myself, I have three young children, and what bothers me is whenever they argue with one another and treat one another as though they do not love one another because I, I want to know whenever I die that they still love each other no matter what because if nothing else, they have each other. And so while, me, yes, your sister's and, behavior may be... Do we industries in your, in your town? Do we have industries good in will. our town? And yes. Goodwill or Salvation Army. I understand both these organizations oh, yeah. help people uh, get themselves back into society after going through uh, a tragic, you know, incarceration, felony tragedies of some sort. I mean, maybe you can hook up with Goodwill Industries and get a job where you're safe from sexual harassment of some sort. Goodwill has rejected my application for employment. Um, why, I don't know. 
um, Salvation Army here. I honestly am not trying to lie to anybody, so I haven't applied at Salvation Army because I was kind of disheartened after Goodwill. But Salvation Army here, and like I said, it is a small town, so whenever I say it's a Salvation Army, it's no bigger than a convenience store. All right, or Goodwill is no bigger than a convenience store itself. And so those places they offer, there's no female shelter here. There's only one men's shelter, and they're just now noticing on our paper, you know, in our newspaper and news sites or whatever, that we have a homeless epidemic here in our, you know, quaint little town. Um, There's a homeless all across America right now, man. I know, right? I didn't figure it was anyone's, like, I didn't know it was brand new to the folks around here, but apparently it was. I live in a, a fairly big metropolis of Tampa, St. Petersburg, Florida, and we have a terrible homeless problem here, which goes Dang, all I, the way down and all through Florida. I mean, and, that, uh, that's, that's St. Petersburg, Petersburg, Florida. That's about four Paris, Texas is right there. Whatever is from so, Paris, Texas. I think that you need to get involved with some kind of social services, and you need to get help in getting oh, established in the community. Oh, I have... um. I have many venues because due to the fact of employment not happening from other and from an employer and the fact that I need to provide for myself and my family myself without anyone else's I'm a grown up in America and I should be able to do so. I I I mean there's there's ways though with the time and age and everything and everyone trying to not hire me just because I had made some mistakes in my life that I dealt with. Um I've I've tried to figure out some way to employ myself because I'm young. I'm still young. I'm smart. I have a decent head on my shoulders regardless of what mistakes I've ever made. I know what I'm going to try and do every day. I'm no psychic, but I'm going to try. And that's one thing I have a lot of. And so, I mean, I'm not giving up the employment hunt. However, there's been many avenues of which I can figure a way to, quote, market myself to the industry out there today to find gainful employment to provide for myself and my children and their future as best as I should as a responsible adult in America should today. You know. What well, kind you, of work do you, you do? You just don't know what you need to do. I think you need to go apply it in your life. And I wish you the best of luck. I, I appreciate your honesty. And, oh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate you hearing me out on it, and I hope that I've caused no offense to anybody. I really, as far as your sister goes, I I just really hope that you truly keep your heart open to her at all times because she needs at least one person in this world. Everybody needs at least one all the time to know that they love them, to know that some well, one person can love them unconditionally. I believe in order to be loved, you need to love yourself first. And as long as she refuses, that's not to fair. No, it, I think is that fair. isn't fair, sir. I don't think it is very fair. I did not love myself until I was 25, and I deserved love the whole time. In the prostitution, you learn to love yourself because you're loved as a child. If you're not loved as a child, you won't be able to love yourself because love is learned. Which brings us back to this child neglect, child abuse thing. It's yes, and you should never act without love in your heart. You should always be acting only in love. Never anger, never jealousy, never impatience, never rude. You should always act in love. What I'm talking about is the way we're Are you still there? I haven't heard from you. The way we're oh, I'm still here, yeah. It just it said, turned into such a terrific rant show, I didn't. Know that I should interject. I mean, everybody's just doing such a good job, but I definitely am quite sympathetic to her situation. And Dan, thank you for what you, the advice you've given her, and I want to thank, thank her you, yeah. for coming. Yeah, I want to see you give. I'm good night, everybody. Go for, you're very, very young, and I'm going to yeah. tell you why. Good night. At, at 28, are you leaving us? I was. Yes, she left us. And I haven't had any drugs or alcohol in 30 years. And I became a college professor. That's awesome. I mean, it and can be I, done. Real estate investor. I own two homes. And that's and fantastic. I'm glad to get my doctorate. And I was pretty much where you were at, except for the felonies. I was always very <laughs> careful not to get arrested. 
but I got my college degrees, I got my master's degrees, I have two master's degrees, I'm now working on a PhD. That's and I wonderful. am Professor Dan Patrick. That's correct. And that can be, so what I'm trying to tell you is at 28, you're 30, you can yeah. do this. I and know. In 20 years, you could be doctor, whoever your last person, last name is, teaching college. You could be. Are you kidding? In five years, years, I want to be president. What are you talking about? Well, that's, in, <laughs> don't get off. Let's be realistic, set realistic goals first. <laughs> One day at a time. I suggest you not even drink socially. That's my high. Oh, I don't. I don't even drink yeah, socially. I, I don't really drink at all. I wouldn't even. I, I wouldn't even have a couple of beers anymore ever again. You, you, you are last you kidding? Couple of the last, the last beer I had was one beer, and it was only one because I have no need for more. And it was two months ago, and before that, it was years ago. I don't and, really and drink at all. Think, I think you need to get into a twelve-step program, AA, NA, whatever is available to you in your town. And I think you need to hook up with social services and vocational rehab. And then see what they can do for you. And also, and I would check in the disability claim to get your life together. And we'll get some money you, while you're getting your life together. Right, and that would be helpful. Um, I do have to. I do have to boop off of the uh, conversation um, real quick and everything. I have to hang up, and I gotta go take care of my kiddos. Um, but I did want to say one thing. Um, to all of the show, to everyone in the room, other than thank you guys all very much. I've really enjoyed, converse, you know, conversing and conversating and everything. Um, well, we appreciate you calling in. Well, thank you. And um, I just want to leave with this one thing. Since we um, were talking, you know, since Scott got brought into it a little bit, since he's everywhere anyway, I know that's not everyone's thing. It used to not even be mine just to say the word God, okay, just for everyone's PR. Didn't want to upset nobody, right? But no, one I'd thing love- that has helped... Uh-huh. In the word Christ, and I right. believe in Jesus Christ. Well, I do as well. And, I mean, it's just some people get real picky about exactly what you call God. So, to me, it's all the same thing, and you call it what you will. But I just want to leave with this, though. In John four sixteen, that says, God is love, and whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in him. And so, in all things, I think we all should only just love. And with that should only come blessings, great wishings, and good things, period. You can't go wrong if you go that way. All right. Good good luck for you, ma'am. God bless you. I yeah, hope you go yeah. and, and forward and and get some the help that you need to establish your life. I think well, you're I'll very young. It. To me, at least, I'm 58. To, to me, you're, you're very young. I and know, I right? I was, you know, so you've got <laughs> a lot of time to get together, ma'am. And oh yes, yeah, uh, really will. I know so, that. We'll get it. All right. I'm uh, I'm working on it. I just had to have that time to do it, and I got nothing but time. I mean, I have money, right. but I ain't got nothing uh, well, but time. I want to thank you for sharing your experience and whole faith with us, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, thanks for being a part of the show. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, and thank y'all for listening.